Hey everyone, how's it going? George here with another YouTube video tutorial to walk you through the simple, quick, and easy process on how to set up multiple Gmail accounts um, and, and get past that phone verification system without having to use your own telephone number um, if you don't want to, that is. Okay? Um, this is actually an updated video from the old video I've done quite some time ago. Um, back when it was on my older YouTube channel, I used to have people all the time tell me that it didn't work because they would sometimes get told that the phone number has been used too many times. Okay? Before I made this video, I created eight Gmail accounts using the method I'm going to walk you through, and I did it all in less than 20 minutes. Now, three of the eight times I did have to uh, the site where I get the number from I did have to re-sign up using the same email account and then the second time it gave me a phone number that worked no problem okay so sometimes you might have to sign up you know two times if you keep trying to sign up and the numbers keep on working unfortunately I don't know what would be causing that because I don't know how often this site I'm going to be telling you about updates the the phone number data bank and refreshes the telephone numbers okay or if Google even dumps them after a while I don't know okay but just to prove to you that this method does work before I get into it right here is eight email accounts that I have created in like I said less than 20 minutes okay now these I'm never going to plan on using um, I don't even remember what the passwords were for them to be honest with you. I just, you know, created as a whim to see if the method still worked for me from what I remember. I've got plenty of my own Gmail account, so feel free to spam these all you want. You just won't ever get a reply or anything like that, okay? Uh, but again, I do want to show you that the method does work. Now I am logged into one as part as part of the this tutorial, uh, but then after the, after the video is done, I'll be logging out and won't ever log back into it. Just FYI okay so let's get right to it what you're gonna to need to do to set up these Gmail accounts is very simple you're gonna need the website as you will see that I'm gonna link um, well actually I'm not gonna link I'm gonna put a link to this video on the older video but the website you're gonna need is this one right here called k7.net okay this is exactly what you're gonna need now I'm gonna go back to this site I, I am going to copy this email real quick and I'm gonna sign up you could put anything you want right here doesn't matter down here if you can read this sometimes go ahead and fill it in uh, sometimes it does make it a little hard and in the cases it does just click here and it'll uh, give you a voice prompt and let you know what uh, some numbers to type in okay now here's the telephone number so now I'm gonna come back over to Google Chrome I'm gonna type on create account or not type on I'm gonna click on create account and you can just type in whatever you want and I'm just you know creating just something whatever just to show to you live that you know this method does work birthdays you can put whatever you want just make sure you're over 18 because I don't know what Google's policies are about that sometimes that happens I could swear I fill everything in and then Google be like oh sorry you didn't do it Okay, so let me find one I can actually read. My apologies, I hit the wrong button. Give me one second. Now, as you can see, here's the phone verification system. Okay, I'm gonna go back over to Firefox. I'm gonna Control C to copy the number, or I can right click and hit copy. I'm gonna go back to Google Chrome. I'm gonna paste the telephone number in. I'm gonna do a voice call since I can't receive text messages through K7, and I'm gonna hit continue. Now, as I said, you get this uh, information right here. So, simply what I'm gonna do is go back to sign up.
take the new number that they just gave me, go back to this, type in that new number. Okay, give me just one moment. Okay, I do apologize for that. I actually had to end up doing uh, the telephone number three times. It's like I said, I unfortunately don't know how often K7.net uh, does uh, renew numbers and uh, or comes out with new numbers so sometimes you might have to register to the site more than once but I actually registered to that site for a number three different times with the same email no problem it gave me the number and now I've got to wait for it to send the information to uh, the email address that I use to sign up with K7 and then I can input the Google verification code okay so go ahead right here here's the email address that I used Boom, here's a voicemail from K7 that Google uh, uh, Gmail sent. I'm going to go ahead and download this. And then I got to listen to the prompt. And now it's time for the prompt. I click continue. And voila, I've got a brand new Gmail account and I verified it through the phone verification system without the need of using my own personal phone number by using the k7.net website as I mentioned you might have to sign up using the same email address more than once not totally sure but on any account that's the way it works now if you want to you can either use your brand new gmail account to go to k7.net sign up again with a brand new email address and get another phone number to do another Gmail account or you can simply um, just use the same email address that you used before okay now to show that to you real fast I'm gonna go ahead and sign out of this and as you can see it was done okay now what I'm gonna do is Go back to Gmail. Actually, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all this out. And this program here is called Click and Clean if you're uh, interested in knowing what it is. And this is what I use to clear cookies, cache, everything. And as you see, they all went away. I'll click on Create an Account. Go here, type in just some random name. Again, I'm not interested in knowing or remembering all this information. I'm just doing this for the video. But definitely as you're going, I would suggest opening up Excel or even uh, WordPad and copying down the email address and passwords that you're using, especially if you're doing this um, to sign up for more than one account on websites such as Craigslist, uh, for instance. Um, you know, And I will make a new updated video for Craigslist as well that I'll attach to this video. Uh, once I upload them to uh, YouTube as well. Okay. Okay, now I need another phone number. I'm going to go here. I'm going to sign up again. Again, I'm using the same email address that I've already used three prior times. I'm going to take this phone number, I'm going to plug it into Gmail. Remember, always select uh, voice call. And I'm going to click continue. Now, see, at that time, it only took one time for me to get a new email address, and now it's giving me the phone verification uh, code that I need. So now I come back over here to this. I can delete this email and delete this email. And I'll just wait patiently. So I'm going to pause the uh, video just for a quick second. 
okay and as you see it just came in the uh, voicemail that Google uh, phone verification or not Google phone but Google uh, Gmail verification the phone system uh, sent to me I'm gonna download and upload it to my media player that I use so I can listen to the code Now it's telling me the code. Hit continue. And voila, a brand new Gmail account. Again, using the exact same method that I that I just showed you. Um, and like I said, sometimes you might have to sign up for the K7 site more than once, but you, there's no uh, there's no requirement that you use different email addresses. You can keep using the same email address over and over again. Okay, um, I do know that they keep the telephone number. I think it's for like less than a month or whatever. There's no activity on it. Why they don't uh, keep you know everything to one email account I don't know but I don't complain about it either <laughs> so on any account that's a quick and easy process like I said ladies and gentlemen you're seeing it live me doing this you you know it does work if, if it's not working for you if you're signing up multiple multiple times to K7 and the numbers just aren't working I unfortunately am not sure what to tell you um, about that the only solution I can possibly offer you is just to go to the Android store the Apple Store or the internet itself and just search for free phone number uh, try out different programs different sites whatever the only thing that I would not do because there are plenty of apps out there is I would never pay one dime to get a phone number to verify Gmail or a Craigslist account it, you know there's sites out there that offer it and that's all well and good I'm not trying to take business away from them but I'm the firm believer why pay for something when there's obviously a method to getting it for free and it's not like it's illegal okay I personally would not be showing you this method I would not be promoting this method if it was illegal you know I've got too much at stake um, personally and business wise for me to promote anything like that okay so I, I hope this helps you all out um, as of this email right here that makes 12 I'm sorry, that makes uh, uh, like 9 or 10 today that I was able to create using the same exact method I just taught you, okay? Now stay tuned, um, and I'm, there's going to be a link in the video, like I mentioned, to take you over to the, um, to the uh, sorry, to the video to show you how to create the free PVA Craigslist accounts, all right? Have a good one. Catch you on the flip side. Uh, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, family, colleagues, coworkers, anyone who can uh, benefit from the strategy. Take care.